Do you want to up your game and get better with the knight? Yeah, shit killer. Never play knight, it's bad. Well, don't worry, because I'm here to give you some advanced tips and tricks for the knight. So hopefully, new or experienced knight player, you will learn something new. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first tip is flag denying. If you and the survivor both try to go towards the flag and you notice that the survivor will get there first, you can quickly place and cancel your guard. This will remove the flag and avoid the survivor from getting haste and endurance. So next time you see the survivor run towards the flag while being close to the survivor, give this one a try. Next is the hook guard. If you sense that someone is coming towards a hooked survivor to unhook them, you can from a distance place a guard by the hook to get a chase going right after the unhook to prevent them from healing and keep them busy. When you're placing your guard, get it to the hook and try to listen for footsteps or look for cues like grass movement to see if a survivor is about to unhook. But beware, if you place your guard too soon, the survivor might try to cancel your guard while unhooking. So you need to try to place the guard so it detects the survivor as they're unhooking or right after. Also, if you time this perfectly, you can be guaranteed to get a hit on at least one of the survivors. But you have to be lucky and have good timing for that. Also, survivors love to heal under the hook, so if you're close, you can also just send a guard even after the unhook. Either way is a good way to apply some more pressure. Next is fake placing the guards. Survivors tend to run away the second you place your guards, so what I like to do at smaller loops is to pretend like I'm placing a guard and then cancel it right after. This can sometimes trick a survivor into thinking you're placing a guard and make them start leaving the loop, which most of the time will lead them into leaving a safe space allowing you to get a hit in. Don't cancel it too quickly though, because you gotta give the survivor a little bit of time to believe that you're actually gonna place a guard. And then we got the double click hold the click trick. If you hold down your left mouse button while placing a guard, it will automatically perform any order as soon as it is in range. That means by holding down your left mouse button, you can for example, break palace with the carnifex as soon as you get the prompt. So instead of spam clicking or reacting to the prompt, you can just hold down the button and it will perform the action as fast as possible. Similar to this, you can double click your right mouse button to instantly place a guard after the 10 meter patrol path requirement. This can also be useful if you just need to quickly place a guard to force someone off a smaller loop. Next is the basement guard tech. If you place a guard, preferably jailer or assassin, on top of the basement right before someone unhooks, the guard will quickly start a chase because of the unhook notification. This almost always guarantees a hit and is very useful if you get a hook in the basement. But remember, the guard has to be in close range of the basement and you have to place it before they unhook the survivor. If not, the guard won't hear the unhook and he will not start a hunt. So I find placing a guard on top of the basement to be a lot more useful than sending it down the basement. Last thing I want to bring up is the carnival. And no, not that kind of carnival. I'm talking about not only using carnifex to insta break pallets, but to also break walls mid chase. There are some tiles where you can really surprise the survivors by quickly breaking the breakable wall with carnifex, similar to insta breaking pallets. The Dead Dog Saloon has a lot of breakable walls around the loops and where you can take advantage of this. But you can also, on the other maps, find a lot of these loops where you can quickly pull off a... ...and just break through that door. By time you will learn what breakable doors you can break mid chase and not, but when you get the knowledge it will help you a lot during your matches. Alright, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new. If you want a more updated, more thorough knight guide that goes into more detail about knight's power, perks, add-ons and all that kind of stuff, I recommend checking out Resolion's knight guide. Link will be in the description. And hey, go ahead and join the Knight Mains Discord server if you want to learn more about the knight. We got a lot of experienced people in there that can help you become a better knight. Anyways, that was it for me. Please go ahead and like, subscribe if you want to see more content on this channel. And I will see you next time. Peace.